With the onset of the festive season, we wait to cleanse our homes and ward off all the clutter and negative energy. What better way than Feng Shui energizers that not only help to rid your home from negativity, but also helps in bring prosperity and good luck to your family. Let's help you understand what Feng Shui is and how it can help you. middle of the Navratras and there is no better time than this auspicious period to make new beginnings. This festive time calls for an energy cleanse of our homes. Weed out the negativity and welcome positivity with Feng Shui this season. This festive season bring in good luck, health, wealth, happiness and lots of cheer in your homes by choosing from any of these Feng Shui energizers. Feng Shui is basically a combination of two words. Feng means wind and Shui means water. It's a, a, a ancient Chinese wisdom or science, we usually say, which is based on five elements, which is wood, water, fire, metal and earth. So it's a combination of uh, elements, energy of the elements, as well as the symbols we use, like uh, different type of good luck symbols we use. In There's the iconic idol of the Laughing Buddha that holds various symbols of good fortune. For example, this Buddha with the bag is to take away your worries. The one with coins is to attract money and the Buddha with the shield is for protection. The laughing Buddha should always be placed facing the door so it greets wealth and success. Another Feng Shui element is the eternal bamboo which is an indoor plant that also ushers in good fortune in our lives. It should ideally be bought to celebrate a new business venture, a grand opening or even the purchase of a new house. It is recommended that it must be placed in the southeast direction of your house for best results. Diwali is a festival of prosperity, gold and glitter, so everyone wants wealth and prosperity and certainly Feng Shui is very practical to use. It's unlike Vastu, you have to break up the house and it is easily adoptable in a modern environment. Yet You can keep a small uh, career uh, horse in your, on your workstation to activate your career luck or you can place a dragon headed torture for protection. So these things are practical. So similarly, we don't have big houses these days, so we can keep a good luck bamboo in our own corner which looks modern, which looks beautiful, but it also attracts good luck. So it is adoptable, it is environment friendly, like mostly it is something which is to do with the energy, the basic five elements. So you keep plants, you keep chimes. Another popular Feng Shui energizer is the evil eye. With its origins in Turkey, the evil eye is believed to ward off any kind of evil or negative energy that you or your house may have absorbed. Placing an evil eye in your house protects you from bad luck and any kind of curse wished upon you. Another alternative to cleanse your homes are aroma oils. They not only rid your homes of negativity but keep the good feng shui flowing. For example, Lemon oil evokes protective spirits, while sage is a power agent of cleanse. The wealth frog is another feng shui activator. The three-legged frog is considered to be a very auspicious creature that brings in good fortune. Then there is the courier tortoise, a symbol of longevity, protection, support and wealth. Place it on a table in the north zone of your house to enhance career opportunities. Similarly, we have other products like uh, Arowana fish, which is a fish eating fish, which is virtually killing competition. So it is help to get you acquisition of businesses, growth of your, uh, your money luck or career promotions. So it is to be placed in Southeast. For the believers and the non-believers, there is no harm in trying something new to enhance the vibe of your house this festive season. In New Delhi with camera person Pooja Arya, Radhika Sarkhil for NDTV.